When you stop and think about it, it's hard to imagine how you can squeeze so much into such a small space. There's a bustling urban center, home to many national and international corporations. There's a thriving retail community, which draws thousands each day from neighboring states. There are destinations where hundreds of thousands go for a week, a season, or even longer. And places to spend a casual day or a fun-filled night. This place may be small, but its many amenities, from bustling suburbs to vast open spaces, attract more and more people each year. And each year, more are deciding to call it home. This small space is the state of Delaware. While Delaware may seem small when compared to our larger neighboring states, one thing is for sure. It frequently doesn't seem so small when you're trying to move from point A to point B. The job of getting people around Delaware is the role of DART First State, Delaware's bus, train, and intermodal transportation provider. The history of public transit in Delaware began around 1864 when the Wilmington City Railroad Company began running mule-drawn carts capable of transporting 20 people around the city of Wilmington. 1888 saw the first electric trolleys. Motorized bus service arrived in 1925. 1938 marked the beginning of the first trackless trolley in Wilmington, a tradition that has recently returned to serve the city's increasingly popular riverfront attractions. In 1969, the state assumed ownership of the private transportation systems, which have grown into the current DART transit system. Today, over 600 employees operate some 400 vehicles to provide more than 9 million passenger trips per year. DART routes cover all three counties and also provide vital inter-county service. All DART buses are 100% compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act. In addition to buses, DART contracts with SEPTA, Southeastern Pennsylvania's Transportation Authority, to provide 36 daily and 12 Saturday commuter trains between Wilmington and Philadelphia. It is estimated that DART buses replace over 3 million single occupant vehicle trips each year. But even with all this public transportation in this small space, it is increasingly clear that the road to the future will present a challenge if we're to keep Delaware a great place to live, work, play, and learn. The wonderful diversity that makes Delaware so attractive can also pose a problem when it comes to transportation. In the urban areas around Wilmington, the challenge is coordinating growth with the existing and future transportation infrastructure. Roads and highways take years of planning and construction, but new developments with thousands of households can spring up almost overnight. Twenty years ago, the area along the Route 40 corridor was a sprinkling of business among a vast expanse of farmland. Today it's obvious that the suburbs of Wilmington now reach to the border of Kent County. Future development, both in the core and on the edges of the Newcastle County area, will require forward thinking. Transportation-friendly design must be an integral part of the planning and development stages of growth and not an afterthought when construction is complete. Kent and Sussex counties are no longer immune to the woes of too many people on too few roads. Development in both counties have made getting around a challenge every day, not just on race weekends in Dover or summer holidays around Rehoboth Beach. Dover and surrounding areas have also experienced considerable growth in recent years. Delaware's capital city has evolved into an entertainment destination, a tax-free shopping mecca for nearly one million people in the Maryland Shore counties, the hub of our growing state government, and the home of one of the largest military operations centers on the East Coast. Building more and larger roads may be necessary, 
but as mentioned, highways are long-term solutions. To curb the ever-growing number of single-occupant vehicle trips, public transit needs to be a viable option for residents and visitors in all three counties, an option that makes more sense than driving alone in a car. This means more needs to be done with developing high-occupancy travel lanes so buses don't end up stuck in the same traffic jams as cars. Encouraging mass transit use will require development of more convenient and strategically located park and ride lots. Joint ventures in cooperation with public and private institutions and businesses can also provide incentives for people to leave their car and take the bus. While young families pour into the job-rich market around Wilmington, at the other end of the state, retirees from both in-state and out have made Sussex County one of the top five retirement areas in the nation. Meeting the specialized needs of seniors as well as those of the low-income workers and students must be a consideration in all transit system design. The road to the future of transportation in Delaware must be a road that we move along and not a road we're stuck on. Working together with the public, with state lawmakers, and with business, DART First State is ready to build a road to the future that's transit friendly and a great place in a small space.